Good morning, Mr. Ministers, Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, friends. I'm Joy. I'm Safa. I'm Joeli. And we are here at the seventh meeting of the Istanbul process to interview important people from different religions. All have come here to offer a cross regional perspective on best practices and policies to boost resilience and promote tolerance with regards to religion and belief. I believe your presence here is very important. And today we face a number of challenging questions. How can we preserve and spread that message? How can we ensure that people around the world are not subject to violence, discrimination or intimidation because of their faith? I'm Napan, my name is Napan, and as you can see, I'm, I'm the big fan of Holland. <laughs> uh, what do you think about the Congress here in the Netherlands? It's exciting to be here to meet people like yourselves and people from all over the world who believe in different things, who worship differently, but want to come together to find agreement. There's a lot of hatred and violence and discrimination towards people on the basis of their religious identity or their ideology or their faith. We all claim that we've got the right religion. I've got my right religion. I probably claim he's got the right religion, but we all have to give room to each other to claim the same rights. And that's why it's so important to get together, to give everybody the right to be himself, to believe himself, his own conviction, and that's what it's all about. You, you probably heard uh, people like me speaking about the terrible terrorist attacks we've seen in, in New Zealand. In Christchurch, a shooter came to the mosque and killed 51 people, including my wife. Are you mad at the person who started the shooting at Christchurch? No, I'm not mad at all. I'm not angry. I don't have any grudge against him. Why should I? When we were born, you are just like, they will learn you like, those people are wrong with their religions and those are good and that must stop right now. We just need to do away with hate. Yeah. Clap. Enough. <laughs> right? Yeah. You, you, you know the, the headline, huh? no tolerance for intolerance. The problem of tolerance is, it's just a word. What we actually want the people to do is appreciate each other, talk to each other, understand each other. People who discriminate, we have to talk to. What makes you come to your opinion? Is it your parents? Then, then you ask someone what makes you say that. And then we teach each other by listening. That is what I like people to do. Ask and try to understand. And it works. How could it ever be the case that I was more important than you? This makes no sense. You know, the idea that we're different because, because of the color of our skin. You know, it's the most stupid idea human beings ever came up with. And if you don't mind me, I selfie with you. That's one way that I can amplify your voices. Oh, this is a voice of young generation. What do you want to say to like all the younger people? As adults, we have messed up so badly. So I'm relying on you children and the youth to, to, to take charge. Your generation is not our future. Your generation is our present. You matter. You matter today, not just tomorrow. Well, I think it's very special because everyone's accepting each other here. We need to do this much more times than not right now. That's a special event. That we human beings, different nationalities, we are like different type of the fingers. If we come together, then we will have peace and harmony. <laughs> Love you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you.